Hey everyone, welcome back here to the Launchpad. This is a Flash News update about Starbase and SpaceX employees. Sources within SpaceX have indicated that SpaceX has ordered hundreds of its employees from Hawthorne, California and from Kennedy Space Center, Florida to relocate temporarily to Starbase, Texas, but they need to do so immediately. This is in an all-out effort to complete a number of major tasks by August 5th, which is just one week from today, so that they will be ready for the first ever fully stacked Starship. They're calling it BS-420. How did none of us see that combination coming? They're not going to do it with Booster 3, they're doing it with Booster 4. Not only is this the first time they're ever going to stack a full Starship onto a full booster, but they want to do it on the orbital launch pad. By August 5th, SpaceX wants to have BS-420 ready and stacked for pre-flight checks and testing. They also want the new orbital tank farm to have enough combined capacity for suborbital and orbital launches to support BS-420, and effective immediately, B-3 will now cease all activity and remain where it is. So these are some big changes since just a week ago when Elon tweeted back to me saying depending on how B-4 is going, they may do a 9-engine test on B-3. All employees that are relocating are to fly or drive to Starbase, and the trade skills required were not released in this leak, but we can imagine would be a lot of engineers, workers, welders, and stuff like that. These employees can expect lodging and hospitality in the greater Brownsville area, and SpaceX is expecting to basically make Brownsville maxed out for hotel rooms. There are about 20 hotels, so we are talking about a lot of people coming in and coming in fast. On July 9th, SpaceX did reserve five new aircraft registration numbers, as for the last couple of weeks we have seen Elon's private jet making multiple trips from Florida to Starpace ferrying employees, so they're definitely going to need these new aircraft in the future. Big question is, are these going to be for planes or helicopters for future sea platforms? They're now going full force into this orbital test of BS-420, yet they still don't have a launch license. That is all for this update, but be sure to engage that subscribe button and ring the bell to make sure you never miss another SpaceX Starbase update or anything else space. This is Zach, signing off.